today I'll be talking about Stephen Andrews and his former life. Most of the materials Andrew uses is handcrafted by graphite, oil, latex, fan, skill screen, and linoleum is printing. Also a little bit of rubber stamps and animation. The influences he gets from his work is response to an event and how the media portrays it, and he tries to pass on the message and how it's delivered. One great example is the Toronto Bathhouse Raid, or Operation Soap, which was raid done by the Toronto Police against four gay bathhouses in 1981, which resulted in over 300 men being arrested. This sparked Andrew's political side as his star work started to represent the body and the body politics as well as a dual relationship between the human and the mechanical. Andrew's work has been different in terms of the beginning of his career as he only did black and white drawings or photos, mostly monochromatic. He didn't start using colors until the late 90s after the AIDS crisis started to be recognized. His artwork qualities consist of a lot of image rubbing and using exquisite material, also making a series of gauges in the dark tablets. Crayon and pencil is used as you can see from detail of most of his work, and also the way he brings in real world problems and events into his work and form it into his own way of art. One of Andrew's well-known critics is a man named Adam Eaglin, who says Stephen's art is a transitional and employs masterful control of a variety of media. He talks about one of his favorite works from Andrews, which is called Fast Smile. This is when Andrews selected 146 photos of different people from a gay newspaper and copied them onto an exquisite material, making a series of dark tablets that look like poorly transmitted fax papers, which communicated the idea of transmission. Another critic is a man named Blake Gomnick, who talks about in his article, one of Andrew's animation videos, called The Quick and the Dead, which Gomic describes as Stephen's work clearly meant to reflect the horrors of war, showing the hardship of battle and the strange act of battlefield hygiene by the U.S. soldiers. The first example of one of Stephen Andrew's work is a piece called The Butterfly Effect, which is mostly known as a chaos theory that exemplifies one small action that can result in a widely defined consequence. Another example of a piece of his artwork is a painting he called Railroad Crossings. In this painting, Andrew uses oil materials on a piece of canvas. In most of his paintings, there is a feeling of nostalgia, mostly with Toronto landmarks, as he portrays places of passage like streets, railroad crossings, and doorways tries to capture the urban environment that he says is changing quickly, as his goal is to find poetry in everyday life. I like how Andrew shows his opinions on the media and how it affects us. He brings his own personal experiences and also real life events and draws on how his films represent those. What's interesting to me is the image rubbing he does and the detail that it shows. Also the animation videos that he has done that look really similar to his drawings put in motion sense.